Toby's new shed. It was a wet and windy day on the island of Sodor. The engines were working hard. Henry pulled freight. Gordon pulled the express. And Thomas was taking freight cars to Arlesdale End. As he arrived, Thomas saw lots of birds chirping. Thomas thought their singing was lovely. Then he saw Toby coming out of his shed. Good morning, Thomas, puffed Toby. Thomas was surprised. Toby was very wet. Toby rang his bell as he steamed away. Thomas looked at the roof of Toby's shed. It was full of holes. Rain must have been dripping on Toby when he was asleep, worried Thomas. Thomas decided to tell Sir Topham Hatt about Toby's roof. That won't do, boomed Sir Topham Hatt. Toby must be given a brand new roof right away. Please, sir, tooted Thomas. I can collect everything we need. Thank you, Thomas, said Sir Topham Hatt. Then, Toby puffed in with Henrietta to pick up some passengers. You're going to have a brand new roof, Toby, tooted Thomas. I'm off to collect everything we need. Toby looked worried, but all his passengers were now on board, and he had to leave. I wonder why Toby didn't look very excited, thought Thomas. First, Thomas had to collect the workmen. At Toby's shed, the birds were still chirping. Oh boy, said Ned. I can't wait to knock this building down. The workmen began to take down the old roof. Thomas met Percy at the junction. Percy was excited. Look what I'm taking to Farmer McColl's farm, peeped Percy. It's a new house for his doves. Well, I'm helping build a new roof for Toby's shed, tooted Thomas. That's exciting, peeped Percy. Toby must be very happy. He didn't look very happy when I told him, puffed Thomas. Maybe he likes his old roof, chuffed Percy. Well, I'm going to show Toby that his new roof will be the best new roof ever. Later, Thomas picked up the lumber for Toby's new roof. He showed it to Toby. Look at this lovely new lumber, Toby, he tooted. Toby looked worried. I'm off to Arsdale End, wished Thomas, so that the workmen can start straight away. Toby wanted to say something, but before he could, Thomas whistled. I'm sure you'll like it when it's all done. And Thomas chuffed away. In no time at all, Toby's roof was finished. Thomas thought it looked lovely. Now you have the smartest shed on Sodor, Toby, whistled Thomas proudly. But Toby looked sadder than ever. What's wrong, Toby, puffed Thomas. Toby sighed. It's much better than your old roof, and it hasn't got any holes, Thomas added. But I liked my old roof with holes, wished Toby sadly. Little birds flew in through the holes to make their nests. My shed was their home, too. Thomas was surprised. He watched Toby chuff slowly and sadly into his shed.
Thomas puffed slowly along. He had never felt so miserable. Just then, Thomas saw the new home Percy had delivered for Farmer McColl's doves. It gave Thomas an idea. Thomas steamed over to the lumber yard. He could see the lumber from Toby's old roof was still there. He asked the workman to build a new birdhouse out of the old lumber. Then all the birds will have a new home, puffed Thomas. Soon the new birdhouse was finished. Thomas chuffed excitedly to Toby's shed. The workman put up the birdhouse. Birds came to nest in it right away. Toby listened. He was very happy. His friends had returned. There were now more birds chirping than ever before. And now Toby would also be nice and dry in his new shed. Thank you, Thomas, chuffed Toby. I'm very happy. And so was Thomas.